campaigning for the local Labour Party. This is a very big political moment for the country. It's quite crazy, like, obviously, growing up here. To see it in the national spotlight is quite scary. It's like a barometer of the whole nation, really. Like the last bastion of hope type thing. And I've seen the way this town has been shafted over the years. To be this isn't even about now Brexit. This is about what kind of country we live in. Here, here. here. That would transform our society. So we won't be one that's so divided. We won't be one where we walk by on the other side for those that are unfortunate. I mean, with the odd break, it's about 14 days on the road now. Frimley, Manchester, Swindon, Thornbury on the edge of the Cotswolds. There's an end. Look at that. We've got to go and get a shot of that. And it's post-apocalyptic. At the roundabout, take the third exit. Peterborough's got everything really that sort of denotes modern Britain for good and ill. It's got loads and loads of warehouses and distribution centres. It's got a huge population of people from EU countries and other countries besides. And it voted by a pretty, pretty hefty majority for Brexit. <laughs> I've kept that there for symbolic purposes. It's to indicate the fact that we're being shat on. <laughs> well, I wanted to send a message because we're sick and tired of the establishment. I'm here to support it and teach the elite a lesson. Tell me about your idea of the elite. Who are the elite? Uh, well, the elite are the same people who control the Guardian now and putting through your neocon agenda. Wow. Oh, golly. So where are you coming from, politically? Well, it, it depends. I'm a, a supporter of Julian Assange, which the Guardian is. I'm a supporter of Bradley Manning, which the Guardian is. Left and right, all joints. Left and right. Right. I also believe in free markets, but I don't think we have free markets anymore. We have crony capitalists. Wow. Big queue. In any given political situation, someone's got a big queue, you know. It was sort of Corbyn two years ago, wasn't it? And it was Scottish independence a year or two before that. These MPs are paid about 75,000. They're, they're voted in to do what our, they our bidding, our bidding and they're not doing it, What were you telling them? They're going off on a tangent. Respect the people. I've watched some of these on the internet and I thought, well, this sounds interesting. He's got a very, very powerful message. Yeah. The British political class is rotten to the core. Parliament has abolished the referendum and declared war on the British people. Welcome to the stage, Nigel Farage. Trust me, very trust good. me, for a shit, there's a lot more people feel like this. That's what you were saying. A lot more people. And don't think this movement, and it is a movement now, it means nothing still. That's what they think, it means nothing still. Wait until after this European election, yeah. and then at Peterborough, when we win that too. Who are you fighting? Everybody. <laughs> Dying in the night time, or but not much more than a white lie. She getting This part of Manchester is at the other end of the Brexit spectrum. So you got a hold of the young minds. Why you not doing what feels right? What's stopping you from the good life? I'm catching an Uber the late night. Slow drink with a boo and we go mine. I'm not just freestyling here, guys. You were sort of freestyling about topical things. I obviously, you know, share the concern about Brexit. Um, but at the same time, I'm not knowledgeable enough to, 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 to share, you know, prevalent opinion. Well, what's your sense of the future? Do you feel optimistic or pessimistic? Optimistic, Do you? absolutely. Yeah. You know, my journey now is just to carry on creating. And that's cool. That's cool with me. I don't... You, you don't know. see any sort of... I'm a bit older than you. I, I fear there's a lot of dark clouds on the horizon. The world's not going in a very nice direction. Yeah, but for what I can do as an individual, I just think it's about being, you know, on an individual to individual basis, just being positive with one another. That's a sort of our easiest way to affect change. You're but a one-man antidote to the bleak mood. <laughs> I've stopped watching the news because it's like, what's the point? It's just the same stuff, different really? day. You tuned Probably. out? Yeah. Wow. Just because I've got more important things to think about now. So. <laughs> <laughs> what, like a one yeah. on the way? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what kind of yeah. world do you think you've been bringing your baby I don't to? know. <laughs> You're talking to the wrong guy. Why? Well, you must have an opinion. There. My opinion is, don't worry about the country, worry about yourself. Crazy. Boom. Really? You can't, you can't, there's nothing else you can do. If you worry about the country, what can we do about it? This is where Vox Pops are simultaneously completely unscientific and random, but also 
very revealing. About three days ago, we were in Surrey at a Nigel Farage rally, and I know exactly what they want, Brexit now, right? And every, the people I've spoken to here have seen much more... I, I, I'm just politically confused. <laughs> Do you know about Change UK, the independent group? <laughs> yeah, I don't stop. Why are you laughing? <laughs> You know why I'm laughing. <laughs> Speaking of being politically confused, there's an event in the centre of town put on by the other new party, trying to use these elections to make a big breakthrough. No queue here as yet. It's like the gate at an airport. <laughs> Change UK flight to Romania is now ready for boarding. <laughs> we decided that we could no longer put up with politics as it was. <laughs> we'll come to that. We're just wetting your appetite. That's what we're going to do in a second. So, ah, no, no. Uh, we're, while we find our um, Wi Fi connection, I want to stand on a platform to rebuild something, to reshape, and to change our politics. We are campaigning. If we're going to go off the cliff in October to revoke Article 50. It's not quite friendly, but it's not bad. <laughs> it's the way in which my community is dismissed, the way in which it is smeared as some liberal metropolitan elite, it's disgusting. You have to walk, well, otherwise I'm going to miss this train and I'm going to be killed if I miss it. You should have called yourself the Remain Party, shouldn't you? No, because the broken nature of our politics extends far beyond Brexit. You're not going to go out with a whimper, you don't worry about that. No, God no, I mean I wouldn't, you know. Apparently we're all these narcissistic, egotistical careerists. We've done like the most non-careerist thing you could think of. And so, hi mate, you're right. So what happens so, next? I think there's infinite possibilities, so. Infinite possibilities. Right, go and get your train. I'm going as well. <laughs> there they go. Change UK. Well, considering how het up everyone's got about this election, it's a little bit tumbleweedy. Right, it's livened up a bit. What, because two people have gone in to vote? It's not exactly South Africa. It's not like 1990. <laughs> you can't tell us how you voted, can you? Oh, I wish I could. <laughs> Who did you vote for? Brexit. Did you? Yeah, I mean, you know the fella in charge of the Brexit party, Nigel Farage? Mm -hmm. Great fan of Mrs Thatcher and all that. Mm -hmm. I mean, aren't they the people who did for Merthyr? Not that long ago. Yeah, if you can't keep going back in history, can you? What if people say leaving the EU would make things even worse? I don't believe it. They said that from the day we voted out. Everyone said that the European Union has put so much into Merthyr, and they have. You know, we've got a nice bridge, you know. It's, we've had a lot of funding, but it doesn't help us. Do you work? Yeah. What do you do? I'm a gardener. What do you do? Healthcare. Yeah. You know, when there's always a struggle, I don't know, it's the same as it's always been, and that's when we need a change. Most of us today, some warm sunshine around as well. There'll be some changes coming into the southwest. We drove across the social spectrum on election day and went a bit mad in the process. Oh, you're fucking... <laughs> John, what are you doing off. to my car? The wheels are falling off. What have you done? Two things were pretty constant. Oh, now I'm so However, low trust in politics was before the referendum, it's worse now. Brexit party or no Brexit party. I don't believe Farage for one minute. For and no one likes the media either. Every time we switch on the well, telly, it's Nigel Farage. Yeah, I agree. I agree. That, that, that's media driven, you know, with respect to you guys. In fact, no one seems to trust anything anymore. We don't even know where we are. Feels good though, this. Hey, this is the sort of place where Vox Vox could be. What we got here? Blair Parade. I'm thinking it and I'm liking it. <laughs> Side, well, can I talk to you for a minute? Oh, God, I ain't got time Come on, one quick question. What? Are you going to vote today? No. You're not? No. Wow. <laughs> Blair Parade. Blair Parade. What do you think of the state of the country? Last question. It's not very good. Why don't you vote then? They do what they want to do anyway. Not this time, maybe. Yeah, right. Watch out for the bus. <laughs> oh, no, don't, that looks... No matter who you vote for, it's the people in front of them in charge, mate. They're corrupt. Who? Got to go. 
All the bankers, mate, all the top bankers, the Rothschilds and all them lot, mate, the politicians, they're all under their cuff now, they all give them money. The entrails of this modern internet politics are everywhere, aren't they? Like, everyone's a conspiracy theorist now. Which is why, in retrospect, holding a referendum just as technology completely changed the way millions of people thought about politics was always going to turn everything on its head. Do you know what it is? The beauty of representative democracy, and I include myself in this, right, is you don't have to have a detailed opinion about fuck all. You can vote on the basis of whatever you like, and it just goes in a big mincing machine, and out comes the government. If you don't know what they you can vote them out. The idea that everybody's got to be an expert on you, I mean, it's ridiculous. Why, what's wrong with it? It's on zigzags, and he knows that. He ought to take hey, just block someone in. Away. You're on zigzags. So have you voted yet? Yes. Just go in now, mate. And who are you going to vote for? Have a guess. Brexit party. Yeah. Why do I need to be in Europe? You give me an answer to that. Oh, because it's it, it's, Cause a, it's series, a series of trading arrangements. Are we here? trading before? Different we world can... then, though. Different world. Yeah. Most yeah, it's a different world now. What, what needs to change about the country to make you feel better about all this? You don't want it on there. Go on. You've been up Swindon Town? No, go on. Well, I'll tell you what. On a hot day like today, eh, when okay. I go to town, okay, it's like I've already gone on holiday, and you know what that means. They're not the people who do all the work. Keep the place ticking over. Who's not all the people who do it? Well, immigrants you're talking about. You're I trying to put words meant. into my mouth. What I'm going to say is, you go out of town now, mate. Primark's all we got here. Primark's in a charity shop. Look at me. All right, Primark's in a charity shop. Diesel jeans. I'm not a Primark or a charity shop shopper. I worked hard. There's a lot that's going on for my age, to be truthfully honest. Like, not many of my friends my age vote or uh, participating in it, to be truthfully honest. So it's one of those things, I try to get the information relevant to it, but I don't know. What if I said, though, that by not participating, you yeah. lose to people like the gentleman we've just met? Who's who that? thinks Swindon isn't Britain anymore, oh, doesn't that's... want immigration, wow. and he's going down there to vote for the Brexit party. Oh, OK. Right? Wow. And you and your friends aren't really engaging with politics, and therefore he's winning. I know, I can see I can see why you're saying I, that. I'm no. more concerned for what my daughter and my kids growing up, what it's going to be like for them, to be truthfully honest. But, um, I don't know. I really don't know. But I literally need no, to go. go, go, go. I'm sorry. Like no, it's... Who did you vote for just now? Where's this going? It's on the Guardian's website. Right. Put it this way. Democracy is broken. Go on. That's right. it. Work it out from there. It's the Saturday before the Peterborough by-election. I'm Dave. Hi Dave. Hi Dave, how are you doing? Activists have come from all over this part of England and beyond to help Labour get their vote out. We need a Labour government. How do you feel about the state of the country? What? right now it's dire far rights on the, on the rise racism is it's almost as bad as it was in the 70s i thank all of the constituencies that are here today and of course the danger is i start mentioning them i'll leave somebody out i'll be told off forever more but i'm used to that kind of problem with the mainstream media <laughs> And I don't care. The one trick pony Farage is in town today. What does he know about education? What does he know about police cut? What does he know about the pain of trying to survive on universal credit? I'm not talking about Brexit. Going through the pain of trying to work out the B which word is unmentioned. They can't afford. We're going to go because you're going to get left behind. Yeah, I'm going to get left behind. Can we, can we follow you around? Can you tell me what you think about Brexit? Uh, is this your business? It's my auntie's. Okay, so you're from a Portuguese, from a Portuguese family. I am. But were you born in Peterborough? I've been here for 20 years. Have How you? do you feel about the state of the country right now, Brexit and all that? Sorry, I don't know if my auntie's gonna right. but yes, it is. It's really bad. I work at Pizza Hut um, in town, and we're all foreigners, and we get quite a lot of, you know. Abusive, and we've noticed it more since Brexit. Like, like you know, that we're worthless, really. Nigel Farage, I've just, I've just tried to have a bet on him. He's two hundred to one for the next prime minister, and I'm going to have to like ten pounds. But do you think that'd be a good or a bad thing if he was the prime minister? I think it'd be a good thing. This is important. But it, what's the point? It's all corrupt. It's just, they listen to the English people. They don't listen to the foreigners. We've got no say here. It's, it's corruption, really. Well, the really is. we should be allowed to vote for the Brexit as well. Yeah, 
it works. What? It's amazing how only for breakfast, only the older generation yeah. voted and not the younger generation. Okay. If you think about it, it's the younger generation that are going to stay here, not right, the older. One at a time, one at a time, go on. You're judging me already. God, but the atmosphere's got worse in Peterborough, you say. Are you coming in with the Conservative Party? Oh no, you're Brexit Party we're, people. We're yes. Brexit Party people. Only the Brexit Party can bring about the change in politics that Peterborough desperately needs. Well, I, 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 I was in UKIP, but that relationship ended. Uh, but I've gone from left to right, you see. I stood for Labour in West Ward here. <laughs> I did. Isn't yeah. politics weird these yeah. days? It was a question of democracy and sovereignty. Oh, what Nigel said, that he's going to bring in direct democracy, like the Five Star Movement. His aim is to make the Brexit Party like the Five Star Movement in Italy, which has direct democracy, where members vote on the policies electronically. God, what a funny old state the country is in, eh? That he wants direct democracy. Beppe Grillo. Well, you know, we'll bring back hanging then, hasn't it? See what this, I think this is all about is something we only just started to understand, you know. It's really about what the internet does to politics because everywhere is open to everything. You know, who would have thought that you'd meet people in with a shout of getting an MP who go on about Beppe Grillo's direct democracy or, you know, people ostensibly on the right of politics who support Julian Assange. And you know, when Corbyn comes out and says, oh, and makes reference to the mainstream media, and they're sort of out of anyone's control. Still going. And the crowd here is different, it's more diverse, it's more women, it's more young people. Probably shows you that the Brexit party is spreading. Well, I think it's a realignment of politics, isn't it? I think left and right is in the past. This is about a call for people to try and you know, reconnect with, you know, where power is actually something. And do you feel like that yourself? Yeah. Thursday in Peterborough is Democracy Day! Yeah. Yeah.